I'm one of the leaders of Divorce Care and I went through divorce over seven years ago now. Um, the only help I could find was drugs from the doctor um, or friend with a listening ears, but somehow, quite frankly, that just wasn't enough. Um, and it wasn't until I discovered Divorce Care that was when my recovery really began. I thought I had a perfect marriage and then one day he just came home and said that's it it's over so really shock I was completely devastated and I think I think I turned into zombie mode I just became completely numb inside before I came to divorce care I thought I was doing quite well I think a lot of people underestimate just how long it takes and uh, I think this is what we find when our partners move on quite quickly or they appear to move on quite quickly we think, how can they do that when I'm feeling like this? I lost you know, my home, my job, and basically anything, you know, I lost, you know, I wasn't able to live with my son anymore. And I, did, I didn't really see where, where I was to go, or what I was to do really, I didn't really know. I've been divorced for nearly five years when I started going to divorce care. And to be honest, I just felt like I was an emotional wreck, that um, I couldn't understand why after so long I was still feeling the same way and I, didn't, um, I wasn't getting any better. I suffered an awful lot with anxiety and depression. I was a member of a forum, um, an online forum, and that's how I heard about divorce care. Um, most of the people that were on the forum are based in America. Um, and uh, I just thought, hmm, I wonder if this divorce care exists in Britain. And so I went on the internet and I found out that there were only five divorce care courses in the whole country. And one happened to be just down the road in Carnforth, which was amazing. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to have to check this out because people were raving about it in America. When I looked back on it, I think I realised I was stuck. I'd put everything on hold. And even though years had gone by, it had been nine, ten years, I was still back there. What I tried to do was put my emotions to one side. I didn't really think that it would make any difference to me because I felt that my problems weren't really associated with the divorce. I felt that I'd sort of accepted that and, and got over that a long time ago. And I've been quite surprised at how much healing I've actually got through going. When you arrive, you're really made welcome. Um, you don't just dive straight into it because it, obviously you're coming out of your normal life and you're coming in to talk about things that are really quite deep and personal to you. There's people rushing around making you cups of tea and offering you cake and biscuits and things. And we spend quite a bit of time just um, getting to know each other and just chatting about normal things and how our week's been. After we've watched the films, this is really the most uh, interesting part of it for me and that's when we all sit around and discuss issues that have been raised in the DVD. We've gone through um, forgiveness, reconciliation and I'll be honest when the slide came up saying we're doing reconciliation next week I freaked because I thought there is no way on earth I will reconcile with him after causing this much pain. The three main topics that I found pertinent were um, the loneliness issue because after a long marriage you really it is a shock it, it's a shock not to have that person in the background the person that you relate to the person that you tell every little thing that happens about your day uh, depression as well that was uh, particularly important I think because we are um, programmed to put a brave face on it really uh, and then anger as well, and being told that it's perfectly acceptable and normal to feel anger. In fact, it's, it's good to feel the anger, it's just how you handle it and how you express it. I've, I've formed some really genuine friendships because inevitably something that happens in relationship breakup is that old friendships break down as well. There is a lot of joyfulness in the room. We, you know, we, we laugh about some of the, the really hideous things that have happened, uh, but... We also know that we can really open up if we need to. I've seen how, in fact, how much I've moved on from seeing um, 
other people who were maybe earlier on in the process. I was really surprised at the age range as well. Um, there were quite a few people younger than me, which I think was really sad, but it was really brave of them to come. I was also very impressed that uh, men had come as well, because it's very hard for men to acknowledge that they're in pain and that they might need help and support. Also, the, an unexpected bonus has been that uh, I found a, a spiritual dimension to my life that I thought previously wasn't there at all. And um, it's, it's something that's very much alive and growing in me. I came as a, a non-Christian and I didn't feel any pressure to, you know, to, to be involved in in the church, but as it, as it happens, uh, I've found the people so wonderful and the place so welcoming that I have actually gone on to do further courses and uh, to keep that uh, momentum going. Uh, now, after divorce care, I'm free. I'm moving on with my life. People who were looking quite closed down or hurt and really shaky when I first came to the introductory meeting in April, by the time the course finished, they were like new people. You could really see that a lot of misery had been lifted from them and they had this real sense of release and moving on. I would just say that at any stage you're at, it's worth going because in some ways I wish that I could have gone earlier because then I probably would have handled certain circumstances differently and done things differently to, to what I did. Things are looking better than they ever have done, really. And that's, you know, that's, that's straight from the heart, that's true. That's, you know, not just saying that for the camera, that's, that's the truth. Divorce Care for Kids is a place where the kids can come and they can get support from people who understand what they've, what they've gone through. My son's nine and to be honest he didn't want to really go to Divorce Care for Kids but actually he absolutely loves it and it's just fun and I feel it's just a real safe place where he can talk about any concerns that he might have with people that I trust completely and also that he's able to interact with other children who are going through the same things as he is. DC4K was really good for me because, because I met new people, made, made new friends and it's, and it's helped me and it's helped me since my dad's since my mum and my dad have split up five years ago. It's a place where um, you can get independent and it's not like someone who's on your mum's side or on your dad's side. You can get advice or support or just someone who isn't on either side of your parents. Well, I grew up very like angry and I had um, very low self-esteem and I didn't realise that it was to do with the divorce and because of um, the environment that I've been brought up with, but it was through divorce care for teens that I realised that um, a lot of the emotions that I was experiencing were because they went back to that cause. I think it gave her an opportunity to talk about things that she, with, with other people, so that she didn't have to worry about upsetting me. And I believe that she's experienced an awful lot of healing and got an awful lot out of that. We've heard how divorce care has helped so many people um, and we want to help you. So pick up a leaflet or have a look on our website.